good day welcome to multinet design in this survey 2023 we are going to render elevations we are going to cast shadow on this elevation change the wall style especially background background and so on and so forth to make it look more attractive so follow step by step through on this the first thing you need to do is to know your shadow orient orientation so click on shadow toggle turn it off turn it on or off so that you have seen it now you see that okay it's more bigger or i don't like the way it is how do i adjust it go to your this visual style click on graphic display options on your graphic display options you change the pattern or change the shadow or whatsoever you want if you want the shadow to be to have an ambient shadow click on it and say apply you did look at it the way it is so you can re return that to normal shadow now the next thing to do is for you to do lighting on your lighting you can increase the sun size sun size or amount click on it apply you see so if you want the shadow to be more thicker you can apply that to you need it to be faint you leave it that way so give it this pattern now as you have done that one now the next thing to do is your background click on background adjust the background you can put the sky here normal sky say apply you see it it definitely will change but if you don't want this one like this sky you don't want it okay you want your home personal or different kind of uh, stuff so you just just use grid if you have image of a sky you can bring it here as well so we put it there and change something like okay a little bit faint apply it are you seeing it so that is the image the kind of image you can create here so in there here go to realistic and say apply to realistic allow it to load this is a graphics option so it's going to take a little bit of time which i'm going to like the appearance it's going to give you okay you do see the a, a graphics it gives to you so everything is being turned to reality so let's do something here we turn it back to even line remove the shadow cast and say okay now let's crop this so that we have a little bit of focus of what we are doing so say clean to fix all right so now we turn it back to graphics put it here since we have already set it to the, to the stage of 51 okay then cut the shadow now so you just see that the, the shadow has been loaded and all the materials are there one after the other so that is how you work on what's on your graphics display pattern in a uh, revit you can hide all this one if you don't want them just select or say hide category let everything go so you have your the main beauty now you go there you don't like the you don't like the way the the shadow is fainted what you just need to do is to change it from the light increase the shadow i mean increase do the sun okay you do the sun a little bit and say you apply to it Increase the shadow to something like 70. Type it in. So the shadow has been increased. So that is how you display your graphics in Revit. It's so simple and fine. You see a lot of details come out like that. So that's how you work.